Okay, guys, welcome to the free webinar today with Magnetic Trading. We're going to be doing some live trading with you today. Hopefully, we'll get a trade. Uh, we'll be talking about what we expect in the markets, and we'll also be teaching you the five-minute bar strategy. So there's a few people that are still waiting to join. So we'll kick off in about a minute. Uh, just a few more people are joining. So uh, we'll just let them in and we'll get going, guys. Just let me know you can hear me okay as well. I will be taking questions at the end from you. So if you've got any questions on anything we're going to talk about today, you can uh, you can ask me. Uh, yes. Yes, it will be recorded. Yes. We should be about half an hour today, guys. Half an hour to 35. No, no more than that. All right. So uh, let, let's kick things off, guys. So today, um, we'll what we're looking at here is we're looking at a daily chart on the FTSE. Uh, now, if you joined us last week, we didn't have a trade. You'll probably see why things are a little bit quiet at the moment. We are in a very tight range on FTSE. Um, it, it, it will, of course, break, um, but it's coiling at the moment. It's uh, The range is getting tighter and tighter and tighter. What we can observe, though, is that yesterday was an inside day um, on the FTSE. So we, we've, had these, we've had this coiling range. And often on an inside day, you can go with the break. So we can see that we've got inside days here. When it breaks up, we get a move, get a, a reasonable move to the upside. Uh, this was an engulfing bar. We've got the breakdown. But yesterday, certainly, we've had three days up in a consolidating range. We've got the inside bar. So I, I tend to think if we get below yesterday's low, we should uh, go for a sell on the FTSE. And um, that really would be targeting down towards 7,720, although we would manage it. So that's just the first thing. The gap today, it, it looks fine. Um, that's also okay. And we could, uh, we could look really to have a go at that with stops below 7750 um i would probably not be just using a break i'll be using uh, what we use as acceptance so acceptance below 7750 would be a full 1 minute bar closing body and wick and then subsequent two point break below that we use a different stops because if you're going to make money out of trading you've got to trade differently so you've got to use different types of stops. You've got to get, get have different types of entries because the markets have a habit of clipping stops and clipping entries, getting you in too early, getting you out too late, and uh, or stopping you out just by a few points. So we need to be thinking outside of the box with our trading. So that will be initially what we're looking to be here. Uh, Someone cannot see your chart uh can should be able to see can can some other people maybe just mention they can see the chart or not uh, the chart is the webinar chart is telling me that it is visible okay so scott's saying it's visible so um it must be visible um yeah other people are saying it is so Simon, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, maybe you need to enable something on your side, but um, it's definitely visible. But we're looking at a daily chart at the moment. So uh, I'm just gonna turn the screen off now as well. Um, so that's a rough idea of what we're looking at on the FTSE. Let me just uh, stop this very quickly. And I just wanna take us to the to the advanced report on the DAX. All right. So uh, what we're what we're seeing here is 
these are actually research reports that we do for our members each day. They tell you exactly what, why we're taking certain uh, buy and sell levels or why we're doing particular trades. They're all the data we do for our clients. But down here, we just have a simple trade for our clients. So today uh, on the DAX, Cameron's got uh, no breakout trades, no reversal trades, but he does have a trade of the day. So you can make a note of this. It's buying at 15.960. That might seem quite a bit below where we are, but it can get there very quickly. So it's buying at 15,960 with a stop of 100 points and a target of 100 points. So make a note of that. That's valid all day. So I'll just let you guys take that information down. So again, trade of the day, buy 15,960, stop 100 points, target 100 points, valid all day. And then if we actually look at my report today, uh, you'll see trading data. We've got three up days. We've got the in, in, indecisive bar. We've got the inside bar. Um, I'm looking at this level here. It's 7752. We've got can breakout short there. We've got yesterday's low. We've got an S1 pivot. So 7750 is important. And I'm really just saying on my tra day trading um, we're focusing on 7750. We get below there, we should see 7720. And likewise, if we do hold 7750, we can see gap close. Gap close today is 7770. So that's what we're looking at today on, um, on the FTSE. I'll just change my screen again. So what we're looking at here is a it's a FTSE chart. You'll notice that the software which we're using here uh, will tell us when to sell and when to buy as well. So we do have software which helps us. So um, what will happen is that when it's red, you need to sell. And then when it's green, you need to start looking to buy. And when it's nothing, you don't do anything. So that's also something to uh, to be aware of within magnetic trading as a software, which we give our clients. So at the moment we're in a red. So at the moment there's nothing, there's no buys that we would entertain at the moment. As I said, what I want to see is I want to see how seven seven fifty reacts, um, and we may well take a sell on the back of breaking that level. Um, but I will guide you through it anyway. And if we do a false break below 7750 and move on up, and maybe we turn green on the box, we may well target back up at 7750 and maybe back up towards the highs here at 7780. So we'll just we'll just have to see what happens um, after the open on that one, guys. DAX trading at the moment 16197. So we're, you know, we're we're a, we're a fair bit away from um, Cameron's level at the moment. So nothing to do at that point. Right. So there's one thing I wanted to discuss today as well was the five minute bar. So let me bring that up for you. Hey guys, can you see the new screen five minute bar? Okay, this is a little, uh, this is a, an entry system that we've been using for a long time, really. It's a nice delivery into the market. And actually, the market will trend 20% of the time. 20% of the time, you'll see these big moves in the market. And this particular entry mechanism will get you on, onto those big moves. Um so from that point of view, when you do get in early on on the five minute bar, you can really um, capture the move. But there is a day day trading system that we 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 often use as well on the five minute bar. So what we do is the premise is that the first opening five minute bar at eight am UK time. This is just for the FTSE one hundred. So when the market opens at eight am UK time, um, we will observe the opening first five minute bar okay and what we're saying is that when it breaks two points either way you often see the five minute bar break 
in the direction. Um, sorry, we often see the, the five minute bar trade the length of the bar. So whatever the, the length of the bar was, if it was 10 points, we'll often see the market trade 10 points after we see the break. Where do we put the stop? We put the stop two points beyond the other side of the bar. And if we get stopped out, we'll take the reverse of the trade. So that means that if we bought the five minute bar, we put our stop below the low of the five minute bar. If it breaks, we'll then go short and we'll recoup our loss. The break must be done within the first hour. Um, and we do need the ATR to be over eight and we need the bar length to be over seven. And again, this is an entry mechanism. So the ability to run your profits, which I highly recommend you do, um, is definitely available there, guys. So let me just show you an example from when, guys. When did I take this example? When do you think I took this example? We see so many people out there that can just cherry pick examples of trade. We don't do that in magnetic trading. Often I'll just give you uh, what happened the day before. Um, I don't believe in going back in time and cherry picking hindsight trades. I'd rather just show you what happened yesterday. So this is actually yesterday's action. You'll see that actually it was a very nice, it was a pin bar yesterday. So actually, if we see this type of bar, often that's a that's a good indication it will trade bar length. So um, nice pin bar here. The length of the five minute bar was uh, 15 points. Do we all agree with that? The high is at 7770 and the low is at 7755. So my question to you is what's the target then? Once you break the five minute bar, what's the target? What's the target? Type it in. I'll check you guys have been listening. Uh, okay, so uh, back to this. This is yesterday's action. So yes, we can see the five minute bar breaks up and then we go on and we trade to the target at 7785. It just so happens in this example that it then, that was the high of the day and it just fell, it collapsed. But interesting enough, um, where's your stop on this trade? Well, it's going to be below the lows here for sure. And um, if that low breaks, we will, we, you know, and we haven't traded bar length, just say we, we'd broken up here, we traded five points, and then we'd broken down and we'd uh, broken the low of the bar, then we would then get into a sell and trade and make up our loss. And we put our stop above the high of the five minute bar. We'll come back on to this again. Um, in you can also get better risk reward in terms of waiting for a retracement. Sometimes you don't get it, but sometimes I'll wait for the five minute bar to, to break. So for example, on this one yesterday, you could wait for the five minute bar to break and then wait for a 50% retracement or a 38% retracement, whatever it is, you need to take it from the highest point. Um, cause you know, as it moves on up, you need to put your, uh, your Fibonacci tool on it. But that's another way to do it. You may just say, look, I'm going to wait for the bar to break. Then I'm going to maybe wait for three, four points, five points, whatever it is to come for a retracement and then buy and then put my stop below the low. Um, the only issue there is there will be certain days and really only 20% of the time where the market will just race on off and it won't do any retracement. It will just break the five minute bar and then it's, it's off and you won't be able to get a better entry. But there's a little bit of advanced um, method in that in terms of um, waiting for the bar to break, maybe waiting for a bit of a pullback uh, to get the better risk reward. Because I know some of you are probably asking about risk reward. So I'm just putting it out there about that one. So that's uh, that's a system. Again, I'll take some, I will take some questions at the end about that. But uh, let's, let's now, let's just go back to the, the charts because we are, we are about to open. Now you'll, you'll notice that the FTSE now is trading 7757. So we're going to, we're going to open fairly near that level guys. Still in the box. You'll notice overnight what happened is the FTSE, uh, 
really just took out the highs at 7790. I'm sure people will, would have put their stop just above there. Um, and they've been stopped out if they were trying to sell the market, which I'm sure people were probably doing. Uh, trading the top of the range. And that's, again, why we use different stops and magnetic trading. We generally use an acceptance method for us. So we're going to open very shortly. A couple of minutes, guys, we're going to open and then we'll see what's going on. As I said, if we can hold 7750, uh, 7750 there's a good chance we're going to see gap close at 7770. So, but I almost want to see a false break below that level. There's the five minute bar as well. We can look at the five minute bar as well there. See, um, see if, if that is worth taking. Currently trading 7754, about a minute till we open, guys. Okay, we are open. So um, let's see if 7750 holds. If 7750 holds, maybe we just take a little break of it first. Uh, false break, then gap closes on at 7770. Uh, so let's just see the action first. See what's going to happen down here. Often I like to go on a one minute as well, just to see, see what's going on. Okay, so we're testing 7750 now. So that's that level tested. Let's see if we get a little false break here. So what I want to see is I want to see, um, I want to see a little bit of a reversal on the chart before buying anything. So nothing to do at the moment. Remember that box is still red, so we don't want to do anything. Okay, so we are breaking breaking down below 7750 now. So what we'll see is we'll see if this continues down and maybe look for a reason to sell, guys. Let's see. Could be we take the five-minute bar break down today. In terms of buying this market, if we did get down to 7720, then I would definitely buy it. So on the one minute chart, still no reason to buy this. Remember, it's all about the key areas in the market. Now you'll notice that the already five minute bar would be valid because it's traded, the length of the bar is over seven points. So five minute bar at the moment is valid. Okay, so we're three minutes in at the moment, no reason to buy at the moment. We've broken 7750. Done a false break at the moment, but we'll see if there's any follow through. What I'd like to see is I'd like to see this retrace a bit and then break the five minute bar down, actually, if we're going to take that break down. So it's be good to see if we've got a little bit of momentum to the upside here first. Right, so the five minute bar will be good to take, guys. Um, if we if it breaks down, we can we can sell the FTSE. We'll target the length of the bar. The length of the bar today is twelve points. It's twelve points, guys. So when this when when this breaks down, we'd be looking for a target. I'd be looking for a target around thirty three today. Seven 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 thirty three would be an area we've actually got a level down at 35 as well so it may be that if we get down to 7735 i'll put stop to entry now if you're going to go for the gap today then your stop is below the low so i'll, I'll give you the buy uh, the, the the other trade as well is the buy because we know that the gap the gap is likely to fill at 7770 if we don't break the lows here this is a false break at the moment hasn't broken so the bulls are still in charge and we're likely to move back up to 7770 if we do not break the lows here. So there's another there's another uh, trade there for the buy side as well. We know that gap gap fills likely to fill whilst we have our stop below here, and the risk reward is good as well. So really, we're waiting waiting for the market to say yes, yes or no, in terms of whether we are correct or not. 
we know that we want to buy for the gap as long as 7750 holds we've seen the false break below 7750 so um, we'd need to break the lows right so again for the buys stops below the lows and then for the sales we're going to take a break down here guys I'm not going to take uh, the five minute bar break up today because there's no point in buying here when we're buying down here. Um, it doesn't make any sense, but we can certainly use guidance on that as well. Just so happens that if the five minute bar does break up, it does it does take us um, up to gap close at 7770. So that's the buy trade targeting 7770 and the sell trade guys is really yes if we do break below if we do break the five minute bar down today that's good to take um and you would target your 12 points so has anyone got, got has anyone got any questions at the moment is, there, is, is everyone understanding what i'm saying in terms of buys and sells at the moment and the important level we had 7750 flagged as a very important level before the market even opened. We kind of knew what we were looking at. And we're just really then waiting for the price action to confirm our view. That's all we're doing at the moment. So you can see, interesting enough, we are still in this box, it still sells. So it hasn't gone to green yet. This is on a one minute chart as well on the five minute chart we'll see but i mean the one minute chart will change to a buy before um the five minute chart does let me just put a line as well across across 7750 just so you know the relevance of that Again, remember, target was we stay below the false break below 7750, 7770. Uh, Molly's asking, do we need to see a breakup of the five minute bar, then a retrace to? No. So basically, what I was saying is you just buy it. Uh, it was when I was, it was a buy down here when I was saying, Molly, it's basically just buy it with your stops below the lows here. So I was saying the, the the target at 7770 is valid whilst we don't break below here so you can just buy it put your stop below the lows here uh, the five minute bar breakup is not needed for this particular trade um because we've seen a false break i don't i don't need for the price action to break up here on the five minute bar for the gap trade gap trade is quite different what i was saying on the uh on the on the gap trade was that if we saw a false break below 7750, which we did. I'll take you across the one minute. Then you can basically, you know, we've we've opened, we've done a false break below 7750. We've just put some consolidation here. It's only it's only negative below this false break. So what's happened is the what's the relevance of 7750? Well, that was actually yesterday's low. So what we've seen is we've seen we've seen people. The retail market have sold below yesterday's low because it was an inside day. Okay. There's nothing glamorous about an inside day. People know about it. Um, but that's why, again, you've got to be, you don't want to be taking the same trade as the retail market. And remember, there's a there, for every winner, there's a there's a loser. So um you don't want to, you want to be positioning what the uh what the retail market are doing wrong. So they would have just sold a break below 7750, probably a two point break. They're now in a sell trade and they're losing. They're getting squeezed. Uh, and really what you've done is you've taken the opposite side of the trade to them and you put your stop below there. Now, if it does break the false break here, then yes, it's negative then for sure. Um, it's It's negative, yeah. But whilst we're above the false break here at 7745 then this is moving on up to 7770 does that make sense guys so it's kind of like you got to think outside of the box with the trading um you don't want to be taking the the natural course of action 
you need to be thinking, right, where are people putting their stocks? What do I need to wait for to get into a trade? Um, and often the market will do false breaks. It will clip people out of stops. You know, that's what, the, that's what happens a lot in day trading. Let's just look on the uh, five minute chart now. So interesting enough, the five minute bar has broken up now as well. So not that we're taking the five minute bar break up today, guys. I'm not advising you to buy up here. Um, we were buying down here and I was talking about the buys with the stops. So we've got a much smaller stop and actually the risk reward is very good. And as this moves on up, if you wanted to pay for a stop with the lows by taking some profits, you can do that as well. Um, the five minute bar breakdown is valid though. Um, I'm not taking the break up today, but if it breaks down, yes, we can get, we can sell the market to target that bar length. Are we all, all on board that guys? And then for buys, it stops below here guys. So if you still haven't bought and you want to buy it, it stops below there targeting 7770. Um, the risk reward is fine. Otherwise, if you just want to focus on the sell trade today on the five minute bar, then we do need that level down here to break, which it may not, you know, this could be the low of the day. It may just rally now. Whilst we're waiting for this action to, to form, has anyone got any questions on the five minute bar system that I taught you this morning? Has anyone got any 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 particular um, questions on how to deploy that system trade? Again, I'm happy to answer some questions now. Uh, also as well, guys, a uh, quick question for you guys, how much time have you got to trade? Are you wanting to learn how to trade or are you kind of just wanting to follow someone like myself in a, in a live room like this telling you what to do? I'd be interested to know what the consensus is. Have you guys maybe tried to trade in the past, but you failed and looking to follow someone with more experience in a setting like this? Or have you got, or are you new to trading and you kind of want to actually learn how to trade and do it for yourself? Or maybe you're just using us for uh, guidance as well. But it'd be interesting to know. Do I look at the volume? Um, the Well, the volume really is in the size of the bar. Um, so I don't actually use too much technical indicators, to be honest. Um, everything for me is shown in the, in the price bar. So we can see quite clearly the volume is not high today. And actually the market is consolidating. I don't need to look at volume to tell me that. So uh, maybe you guys can put in... What are you, again, we're here to help you. So maybe put in, what are you guys after? Why are you attending this webinar? Are you wanting help with your trading? Are you trading at the moment yourself? Where are you at? I'm not going to disclose any names. So just, just be interested to know where you are with your trading journey at this moment in time. Okay. So a few people are saying education. Let's just also look. As the action continues, what I like to do as well is I just like to look at the higher time frames as well. What's going on with the 10-minute chart? Okay, so 10-minute chart, very nice pin bar off the false break here. Looks okay for the bulls. Bulls mean the buyers. 15-minute um, chart also okay. And then, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens with this bar break as well. Coming into the 20th minute, often once you've got the first 15, 20 minutes of the, uh, out the way, let's see what then what happens. Because, you know, the market, the opening market orders have settled down now. We, we might start seeing momentum come into the market um, after this 20 minute period. Let's see. Okay, so a bit of a bit of a cross between some people want education, some people are 
are trading, but they're not making money. Um, don't worry about that. 80% um, of people are not making money because they're trading the wrong way. They're thinking about trading the wrong way. Um, and the, the, the problem is that the education out there, the, the mainstream education out there teaches you to trade the wrong way. And that's why so many people struggle with trading. Trading isn't difficult. It's just a lot of the information, sadly, on the internet these days and in books um, and from brokers, it doesn't teach you the right way to trade. And that's why people struggle. Okay. So yeah, a couple of people. So a bit of a mix, really. Some people want education. Some people actually want to follow us like we do in this live room. We do this every day. We come into a live room and we we basically tell our clients where to buy and sell. Um, I like to trade in the first hour. I call it the golden golden um, golden hour. So it's when I find the FTSE is most predictable, and I usually can get a trade on the first hour. I don't look at the screens all day long. I've noticed throughout my statistics over the years that I make all my money mostly in the first hour of trading. And then after that, my results get worse. So, you know, that's that's what we do, really. We come into a live room like this and we tell you where we expect the markets to go. If you should be buying, you should be selling, where to put your stop loss, where's the target. But the first hour is often quite predictable. So at this point in time, if you're if you're in your buy trades, um, I would be telling you to. Well, I am telling you. You basically you'd be moving your stop to. Uh, well, if you, where did you guys buy? Just maybe you could put some entries for me of where you bought today, just so I know if it's relevant to put your stop to entry. Some of you maybe maybe have got a bit lower. Some of you maybe got a bit higher. Um, on the buys. Remember, the buyers are targeting 7770, but uh, where's your entry? If it's down kind of below uh, 7752, then for me, uh, you know, you should be putting your stop to entry at this point in time. And again, we're targeting targeting up at 7.17. Okay, so Scott's saying he bought the retrace in the five-minute bar at 7.752, fine. So yeah, for you, Scott, then yes, um, I would put it, um, I'll put it to entry now, really. The reason I'm saying is put it to entry is that the market, we are coming towards the end of the first half an hour. And if we're not getting momentum now, there's a good chance we may start just to consolidate um, and there's not really too much momentum to be here, to be in the trades. Uh, who else? Where else have you guys got your entries today? Or maybe some of you are just not doing anything. You're just observing today, which is fine as well. Let's just switch to a one-minute chart. Uh, actually, just quickly, a 10-minute. Yeah, I mean, this is this is looking good. 10 minutes looking nice. Higher highs. This is all okay, guys. Let me just check the 15. Yeah. So the target on this is really 7768 to 7770. Uh, often I will front, I will get out of the gap at two points before. So 7768 would be, uh, it's the area we want to start to be um, taking profits. But you can use the one minute as well. Again, you can follow up the one minute as well to see what's going on. Um, we will have to end this presentation soon. So um, hopefully you've got a bit of insight into what we've done today. Just to recap, we taught you about the five minute bar. Um, we talked to you about gap trading. Some of you may have, did anyone attend the gap trading webinar we did? a few weeks back, or the recording that we put out on gap trading. Gap trading is when you target the previous day's closing price. So if I just show you uh, what I do every day is I tell, I tell people 
um, whether the gap is good to go. So let me just show you. Right, guys, can you see? Yes, you can see that now. So on FTSE, we've got a little gap data here saying pivot risk, 7753. The market day is good. What we're saying here is we're happy to target the gap whilst we're above 7750. So we've seen the false break below 7750. We saw that at the open. And then really, the gap is good to go as long as we don't see that false break below 7750. But the gap today was fine. Uh, right. Right, any further questions, guys? Or we call it a day. Any further questions for me? It is, yes. Yeah, yeah. It is, Stephen, yeah. You got the pivot, yeah. But it's it's more importantly getting out just before the gap close. All right, so just to recap, for the buys, it's stop to entry now. You're targeting 7768 to 7770. Uh, action looks fine. And um, if we do break below the lows today, then I would expect to see bar length anywhere on the five minute bar, um, but later on, but it has to be within in two hours. So um, if we get to 10 a.m. UK time, then uh, after that, I, I wouldn't be looking at any sell trades. But if, if and it's a big if, we do get up to 7770 and then we sell off and we break the lows, I would expect to see the five minute bar trade bar length to the downside. Okay. So that's another trade that you've got for the day is, uh, is if we get to gap fill and we then break the lows here, you can take a low, take a break, target 12 points on the five minute bar. Does that all make sense guys? All makes sense for the buys and the sell trades and the time limits. Let me know if you're not understanding anything. Let me know now. All good from Susan. Thank you. Okay, great. When is the next gap trading day? Well, we get gaps every day. Um, there may be there may well be a gap tomorrow. There may well be a five minute bar tomorrow. There may, may well be a trade tomorrow. Uh, but we do it in our live room. This is a free session. Of course, I can't do free sessions every day. We'll probably do another one in, in a couple of weeks. If you want to get involved with this sort of action every day, you can pop me an email, mark at magnetictrading.com, and uh, we can see see if you want to get on board one of our programs. Um, Lee's saying, can you sell from 7768? Um It's a good question, Lee. What well, wasn't on my plan today? Um, I think you know. You know what I think. I think had we seen a proper break below seven seven fifty, um, rather than a false break, then I think yes, you could have done that. But for me, it's a false break, so the the, the FTSE is still bullish, and it can it could continue higher up. So it's not it's not really on my radar today. That one, Lee, could work, but it's not. Not something that's high probability for me. All right, guys, I'll leave you with that then. Um, great for you to be joining. And uh, hopefully you found that useful. And as I said, if you want to get involved with us, just pop me an email, mark at magnetictrading.com. And um, yeah, let me know what you're after. And maybe we can help you with that going forward. We may have a live, another live session in a couple of weeks, so uh, we'll join you for that. Otherwise, stay safe out there, and we'll be back um, uh, shortly. And don't forget the DAX as well. You've got that DAX trade, which is valid all day, uh, so you can put that in your broker. But just remember to remove it or have it as a good till, good till cancelled. Um, don't just leave that, leave that in there. So the DAX trade, you can put it in your trader platform now. It's a set and forget, but you must remove it at the end of the day. Because what you don't want to do is just leave that over time. And then you come back to the screen one day and go, oh, I'm in a, I'm in a buy trade in the DAX. Uh, you don't want that.
Okay, guys, I'm going to close this down. Speak to you soon, guys. Great to be with you.